Howdy people and welcome to today's video. So as you can see by the title, I'm not a trader. I don't trade, I literally just hatch. If I'm trading, I'm mostly overpaying or it's a low trade, it's a boring trade, it's a bad trade, whatever you want to call it. So as you can see by my team, I've now gotten three BGS plaques instead of four and two dice splits instead of one. And that's because basically I managed to, tra I think I traded like two BGS plaques for a dice split and two eternal contrast that was shiny. And then I managed to turn some eternal shiny eternal contrast into a BGS plaque. So I've managed to make myself a bit of an upgrade for my team, but I've still, still quite, not quite got the uh, full secret team. As you can see, I've been hatching this egg. Unfortunately, the two times luck's gone now, so there's basically no chance. I think I'm sat here at like 450,000 chance. It's probably even worse. I could probably check. Let me have a look. If I'll check on the wiki. So I cannot do math to save my life, so I'll go to chances. I think I'm at a four times chance now. Five times chance. Four times chance. Uh. No, I'm, I'm not even at that, I'm at a 2.5 times chance, so I've got a 1 in 800,000 right now. So I am way, way off getting the new dice split. But, I should probably explain why I don't trade in this game. And it mainly comes down to watching everyone else trading. It's just not appealing to me whatsoever. You see everyone getting so angry at each other, so toxic. You'll see everyone throwing around the clown, or you're a clown, you're a bad trader, you don't know values, all this stuff. And every time I come to trade, I'm just trying to basically look at what everyone else trades. And then I'll try and trade using that method. I don't really look at value lists because everybody seems to hate value lists and love value lists at the same time. People make value lists to better themselves, better their friends make other people's trades worse and stuff like that so when it comes to trading on this game value wise it is a bit, it's basically a pet in the ass it's it, for me right now it's really not worth it unless i end up hatching something incredibly overpowered or something that's got in, insane value at the time maybe something in the christmas event i don't know but for me, I most likely won't ever properly trade until I get lots of bubbles, until I get things like 2 million bubbles and above, because right now I'm only at, what, 1.28, it's not enough. These secrets, according to some value list, it goes, by a BGS plaque is like, what, 40 to 60 or something like that in value, worthless. Dice split is like 50 to 70 in value. It's worthless. So, yeah, it's for me, trading right now, it's not worth it. Because I'm not really looking to get, like, change my BGS plaque, two BGS plaques for something like a Lucy's Leaf. Because in the end, I'm losing bubbles, and I'm there's no way for me to ever get those bubbles back unless I get back the two BGS plaques that I traded away. And after that, values would have ended up changing to either better myself or worse myself in the end. So I'd most likely always be losing out in a trade. So I'd never trade, never really thought about trading. The only time I'll ever trade is if I see something that for me is personally like a stat win, I guess. I don't consider myself a stat trader either because, I mean, I wouldn't really uh, trade my BGS plaque away for like eternal contrast and stuff because I know I'm not going to be able to get a VGS plaque back mainly for tier 3s and stuff because nobody ever wants them. So yeah, for me trading it's, it's not worth it. For me it seems worthless at the moment. Unless, I, I think the only time I ever traded, like I actually thought right I need to do a trade now, was when I hatched my demonic ghost spirit. And I ended up trading it away for 3 BGS plaques. Which 
was probably the wrong thing to do because now I could probably get four. If I'm lucky, I'd be able to get five. If you look at uh, the value lists, or I could get four of an ads, or I could get like three dice splits, four dice splits, something like that. So yeah, when it comes to me in trading, I seem to always have the bad luck, I always have the bad end of the stick, I always overpay. Um, I was trying to get like shiny eternal contrast and I was giving away like six shiny advocates and stuff. So yeah, me in trading it's never worked. I used to like to trade on things like Rocket League where value is really important and I'd get things like black market so your 20xx's in that and, and then I'd trade them away for things that were equal in value but the community didn't see them as equal in value mainly because of the fact that the they weren't, didn't have demand or they weren't like well sat after item yeah I hate it when like this is why I basically stay in a private lobby because I go in to like a bigger lobby like an open lobby people will see that I've gotten the Keeper of Secrets title they'll see that I've gotten 1.1 million eggs and they'll ask me to trade they'll end up trading me and I'll either have like just tier twos and trying to offer for a BGS plaque or something or they'd have like I don't know something expensive like a holy bell or I don't know what else your air basculists your stuff like that and I end up trying to take all my secrets and I don't want to do that because what's the point because in the end I know I'll have like what 500,000 bubbles for me that's for, for me right now it's just no it's a no go so yeah, that's just me ranting basically about trading, why I hate trading. The wiki is absolutely awful for trading. Do you know what, I'm going to continue, I'm going to continue, because if you go on the wiki, you just see constantly, all the time, it's just clown, you're a bad trader, all that. And it's, it's just, it's such a toxic community when it comes to trading, and I feel like that's the same on every single game. No matter whether you're on Rocket League, whether you're on CSGO or something, if they don't get what they want, They'll end up getting angry, they'll end up getting toxic, and they'll end up calling you out for it. And you'll just end up sitting there going, what did I do wrong? I didn't want to trade certain things. Yeah, it's it's just not an area that I'm ever really going to be that invested in. There's pill, there's other YouTubers like Kologish and all that, they'll trade, but the, they, they can trade, they can take L's because... They've hatched so many things because they've been playing since the start of the game. I've literally been playing since Halloween. Like, not even the start of Halloween. Like, nearing the end of Halloween is when I started playing. And, yeah. I don't think I'll ever become a, a top-tier trader unless I did start playing at the start of the game and I understood values, like, incredibly well. But, yeah. That's that's yeah, that's today's rant, that's today's video. I appreciate you all watching. Patreon.com slash Uno Foggy. I've got a Kickstarter going because I'm a new games developer. If you want to go check that out, I'll leave the link in the description to the Kickstarter. Thank you all so much for watching and I'll see you all in the next video.